welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing well yeah i'm so happy because today i'm making a special delicacy this delicacy it was they believe that it's for the rich because if you go for location and they give you over by there you are rich that's just the truth they don't give it to anybody any everybody they see in an occasion so guys sit back relax and you see the way i will do this over in my village style i'm not doing it porridge i'm doing it in a local way the way our ancestors did it then <laughs> so guys sit back relax and enjoy the video so guys that's our uwa then our bitter leaf i'm making use of bitter leaf i told you it's in a village style so i'm making use of bitter leaf i will not squeeze it i'll put i'll put it like that so that's my ungo ungo you can make use of ungo or potash but me i prefer ungo ungo you see the way i will do it it will help they open the bed food to cook well so guys that is my fish my dry fish you see the way i will do it just keep watching and then i'm making use of little crayfish is optional then my pepper then my ogilisi ogili but my locust beans so guys i'll also be making use of oil just little like a tablespoon or even half tablespoon of oil, oil is enough so guys sit back first thing i'll be doing is to wash my okwa please make sure you wash it very well you will see some particles make sure you sieve it out and keep washing you will see the way i will do it is my ungo like i said you can make use of potash a cow or ungo but me i prefer ungo so you i will pour in some water and allow it to settle yeah you don't just pour in the ungo or a cow like that it's the water that you pour in in your you pour it in your bread food so it helps the bread food to cook fast and well This is my bread fruit, my okwa. I'm done washing my okwa. So I'm about cooking it now. So I'll pour in water. I'll pour enough water. Please make sure you pour in enough water because okwa takes time to cook. So it needs enough water. Even though you add your ungo, but make sure you add enough water in your okwa before cooking. <music> So this is my bitter leaf. I'll have to wash it very well with salt and set it aside and keep waiting for our okwa bed food to boil very well before adding it. So guys, please wash it well and set aside. Guys, as you can see, this is our ungo. It's settling down. So are you seeing it? That's it down. So I'll be making use of this to sieve it when the time comes. And wow, I've just checked our okwa. And our okwa is boiling very well. So it's time to add the ungo and the bitter leaf. So I will be adding them now. So I'll be making use of this to sieve it. You can use your white hanky, a very neat white hanky or something like this. This is what I'm using. The sand will not enter inside of it. So after adding this you add your bitter leaf so i finish adding my ungo so i'll be adding my bitter leaf and you still cover it and allow your okwa to cook so guys this is our dry fish i finished washing some people might decide not to scatter it but i mean I don't know it's not my thing so i have to scatter and wash it very well so look at what i will use to spice spice up my dry fish my onions and my pepper so i will blend it 
the blending will be rough i will not make it smooth so i'm done blending so i'll pour it in my fish and add maggi salt and oil then that's the way i'll cook my fish in a separate way yeah guys this okwa is a special one I, I don't want to add anything in my okwa like i don't want to add fish in my okwa i don't want to alter the taste of my okwa with fish so i want i'm cooking my fish separately so as you're eating the okwa you are eating your fish as well so guys that's the way i'm doing it so that is it i will add oil and allow my fish to cook well so guys i've been cooking this okra for about 25 minutes now so i'm checking it out yeah our okra is done yeah <laughs> if i the woman that sold this okra for me we make heaven because this okra did not give me a tough time at all so our okra is ready so guys i'm saving it please don't pour the mirror okra away the breadfruit water please don't pour it away there is no okra without mini okra. There is no breadfruit without the water. Please make sure you keep it. You don't serve an brown man okra without the water. <laughs> they will, they, in fact, they will pour the okra, okra away. So don't mind me, guys. I'm joking. But the truth of the matter is that the mini okra is very important. In fact, most Igbo men love mini okwa. They can't eat okwa without the water. So make sure you don't pour it away. Guys, I'll be making use of this pot. For my okwa, I will use it to mix my okwa. This one is not porridge okwa. Like I told you, it's my village okwa. My village style. So, as you can see, I just added my pepper. That's the black pepper, my dry pepper. I just added it. I'll be adding my crayfish. I'll be adding my crayfish. Yeah, just little. Then, I'll add my oginisi, my locust bean. After adding, I will mix both all together. Added my ogili, as you can see. So I'm mixing all together. After that, I will pour in my breadfruit, my okwa. Guys, okwa has its own natural thirst, like it's delicious on its own. So you don't need too much ingredients like magi, this you know all those things i don't think it's necessary why cooking over for me i'm not adding a uh, no cube i'm not adding any maggi inside this okwa so guys i will mix it very well as you can see i've added my okwa so you mix very well guys as i'm mixing i'll be adding my little water my, the milk okwa inside depends on how you want your okwa to be some people prefer it to be watery some want things like thick like me i don't want i don't like watery okwa so the water i added is enough so i'll mix it very well guys at this point i will be adding just little oil half teaspoon yeah that's what i'll be adding that's all okwa doesn't need too much oil when you are doing it in my village style. In fact, some people don't, don't even add oil, but I just added little. So you mix very well. You check your salt well. Oh, well, on its own has salt. So I'm just adding little, little salt in it. As you can see, I didn't add maggi. So I didn't add too much ingredients in this my okwa. Okwa has its own natural thirst, so I'll just be adding little salt in it. Just little, that's what I'll be adding. So I will mix all together, and yeah, our okwa, our breadfruit is ready. Because where, where are my village people? Please come and join me. Oh, 
the okwa is ready yeah that's our okwa i'm done this is the village style of making okwa guys this is typical village style and i'm blasting so guys that's our fish i'm done cooking our fish yeah this is optional but instead of putting it in my okwa we do it this way so as i pour as i put okwa for you i'll put fish for you as you're eating the okwa you'll be eating your fish so guys our food is ready our bed food is ready so you can come and join me thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video if you have not subscribed please do where to subscribe thanks so much see you in my next video bye